what is going on my fellow engineers i am back again with another episode of pokemon ruby last time we oh bought some trainers got rock smash and we made the burning turf town so what we're gonna do real quick here this shouldn't take too long uh there's a few people we're actually gonna talk to over here we're just gonna talk to everyone here might as well just take your time relax and what, we're, what I think what I'm going to do first, actually, this, I think this place is actually useless to go to, at least down there. Uh, we're going to go to Vernon, uh, the contest hall, and get our contest badge. We'll pass, sorry. Uh, we're accepting registrations for normal ring Pokemon contests. Anyone with a contest pass may enter. If we don't have one, I can issue one for you right now. Would you like me to issue? Yes! Yay, so we got the contest pass. Cool. Pokemon contest involves four trainers entering one Pokemon each in competitive judging. The contest has two stages of judging, primary and secondary. Primary judging is popularity poll involving the audience. Secondary judging features appeals by the Pokemon using their moves. Plan, plan, appeals, carefully, plan appeals carefully to learn the most attention of the judge and excite the audience. Do your best to stand out. Primary and secondary scores are added at the end. Pokemon gardening the highest score is declared the winner. Would you like to enter? No, I will not. <laughs> it's like all this talk. Would you like to enter? No. I know I'm not gonna win basically anyway, so might as well not even bother. So this is actually Wanda's house. Are you wondering who's Wanda? It's Wally's uncle and aunt. Oh, Bree, Wally's next door. But boy, there's something I have to tell you. This natural environment is doing wonders for Wally's health. Maybe it's not just the environment. It could be Pokemon that are giving the boy help. Which is, well, anyway. My daughter's boyfriend is a very driven, passionate sort of person. He's been digging a tunnel non-stop just so he can see my daughter. My daughter is a little concerned, so she just goes out of the tunnel a lot. Aw, oh, it's thoughtful. Uh, let's just talk to Wally really quick. I lost you, Bree, but I'm not feeling down anymore. Because I have new purpose in life. Together with my routes, I'm going to challenge the Pokemon gyms and become a great trainer. Please watch me, Bree. I'm going to be stronger than you. When I do, I'm going to challenge you to another battle. <laughs> Good luck with that, pal. Uh, anyway, <laughs> that was rude, sorry. Uh, anyway, we're gonna go finally into the tunnel real quick. My papa told me. He says the tunnel is full of timid Pokemon. They get all scared, they all, they all scared of loud noise and make a big uproar. So they have to stop the big tunnel project. But there's one man, he's trying to dig the tunnel by himself. Well, let's help him with that real quick. So now we are in the rest of tunnel. How you doing there? Just a random trainer being like, what are you doing here? You want a battle? Our pal, bring it on! <laughs> That's one thing I want to look at him. Alright, so I got you, dude. Alright, slacking. And I did not check about uh, the move. I think I'm positive. It's like 20, 21, something like that. So I don't think if I do try to evolve, I'm going to hold off. Just to make sure, but I'm positive I have to hold off. But yeah, Chew Dude just beat the crap out of. Down goes Chew Dude. Slacking 147, 147 with lock. Alright, so he's got my chop next. We're gonna send out AA Ron, so I'm gonna give him some experience for a bit. We need to give him some experience. He desperately needs it. <laughs> Alright, so we got my chop. Let's switch out to Just Swell. Because Just Swell can just finish you off. Pretty quickly. As long as he lives from Karate Shop here. Yep, there you go. Wing attack should do it. Ba boom! Down goes Machop. And perfect. <laughs> Alright, Chew Dude's next. Let's go back to Slack. Uh, no, not Slack. Him. A A Ron. Yo, A A Ron. Let's do this, pal. Alright, so we got Chew Dude. Gonna go at lock again. Send out that bullet seed that should do the trick. A special attack from bullet seed is gonna do nice wonders. We go one. There we go. Two. Bullet seeds are really good, I gotta say. I'm loving it right now. So down goes shoe, dude. Good job, lock. 147 each. Easy win. No problems. And I don't think there's anything over here. Well, it might be. See, oh, there's a. Ooh. See, there's a tunnel out over here. 
Hello, Wismer again. We already got you, so I'm gonna ignore you. Uh, let's run away. <laughs> it's like, we got you. Don't have to worry about you. Uh, let me see what's over here real quick. Uh, 116. Oh, we got some more trainers and stuff here? Oh, it's a Pokemon. HP up. Too bad. The back oh, the back it does get full in this game. I wasn't sure if it was going to or not. I'm like, does it? I don't know. Uh, let's give it to just one. Perfect. I'm like, I'm gonna grab that HP up while I'm at it. Like, in later games, like, your bags don't get full, which is awesome. But I guess this was probably one of the last games where the bag gets full. So, newer games, kind of like, you can hold as much as you want. Uh, I'm gonna give this to Slacken, because his HP is gonna get high, but we're also gonna use a rare candy. We're gonna use it on... Who's about to level up, actually? That is a good question. Let's see, whoever's not about to level up, I'm gonna give it to. Uh, probably Gumbuskin. Give him the 25. I might, I might as well use it. You know? So give it the sunny day. There we go, 25. Elevated. Sweet. And I think that's all. I still got Soft Sand, Everstone. I guess I can give him the Everstone. Um, just saying, I guess sell the Nugget. That's one thing I forgot to do. I think that's all. really all I got right now. So let's fight this trainer. How you doing? I dropped my glasses. Oh! Oh, item finder. Where are you, item finder? Do you get black glasses here, I think? Uh, oh, the machine's responding. There's an item buried around. Okay, I know that. Oh, there, there's black glasses. Perfect. I dropped my glasses. Can you help me find them? Those are my glasses. May I see them for a second? No, oh, these are black glasses. They're not what I'm looking for. Even my glasses aren't around here. Oh my god, you're a genius. <laughs> anyway, we got black glasses. That's awesome. Now, we're probably gonna run into another random or two up here. On our way back up through this little time. I might just use my repel. <laughs> like I have one. Might as well use it. So let me go ahead, grab that repel. Where are you, repel? There you are. Use it. Might as well. And let's just move up along here. Oh, uh, grab the item in here. It's a max ether. Sweet. All right. So yeah, there's the daughter. Well, the da the girlfriend. And look what we can do now. This rock appears to be breakable. We like to use rock smash. Yes, I would. Here we go. A A Ron rock smash. And they're free. Well, you share that boulder block in the way. To show you how much I appreciate, I like you to have this H M. H M four. Which one's this? Each one has strength. If a muscular Pokemon were to learn that, it would be able to move even larger bol large boulders. Cool. Wanda, now I can see you anytime. That's wonderful. Please take some rest at home. Fantastic. So we gotta learn strength. And unfortunately, I think I know exactly who I'm gonna learn it to. We're gonna learn. Oh, hmm. yeah, we gotta learn to slacken. We we have to learn strength. That's another HM's like mandatory. We have to learn. Uh, now it just depends on what to remove. Cause that's a strong move, by the way. Strength, fantastic move to have for slacken. Uh, huh. so we're gonna get rid of yawn. I like yawn. Slack off. I kind of like too. But encore is a great move too. If you can just trick a Pokemon into it. But Slack Off could be a really good healing move. Ugh. It's like, this is where it's like, ugh. I gotta get rid of one of these moves. And especially if I evolve them. And it's like, oh, I learned Fiend Attack. But which one would I keep out of all three of them? I think I would keep Yawn. I'm gonna get rid of Encore. Ugh. It's like, this is when it starts getting difficult. Especially when you just... HMing like each and every single one of your Pokemon, you know, you really want to, but you have no choice. Let's get out of this cave. We're done here. So, anyway, the other end leads us to Rustboro, which is awesome. And we don't have to worry about that anymore. So, we're done here. That actually took a lot longer than I thought it was going to. Actually, let me talk to. Perfect. Let me talk to. The boyfriend. Thanks to you, I can see my girlfriend every day. Happy? You bet I am. Girlfriend? You are our, oh right, I get it. You're the Bree who Wally was telling me about. I'm Wally's cousin. Glad to meet you. I think Wally's feeling a lot more lively and healthy since he came home. That's the thing, like they keep talking about Wally's health. Let me talk to him real quick. 
Please, okay, yeah. So it's basically the same thing that everyone else, but kind of like the theory is like, was Wally unhealthy? Did he have like a really bad, like, was he in depression? Like, I was really cons like, the more I think about it, the more I'm like, he actually could have really been like a really depressed kid growing up and then just being used, able to have Pokemon and like a route and stuff like that, like, changes you. So I think that's kind of, that's kind of like encouraging. Like, yeah, Steve, the younger gamers playing this game. It gets deep. It gets deep. That's awesome. I love it. And now we are going to <laughs> switch up a little bit more. Let's go back to the AA run. Now we can finally progress through the story. Well, main, we're on the next gym. Off to, I think, Nexus? Is that Flannery? And Falibor? Or something like that? I forget where it was. Oh, we gotta f beat the family here. This is gonna be tough. So let me actually forget saving. Let's do it. Hello, I take your traveler. How's this? What you say to take it on our family of four in a series of Pokemon battles? Yes. That's the spirit. I like you. Alright, so here we go. So we had to do four consecutive battles in a row against this family. I believe it's four, like four or five, but it, it can get pretty tough along the way, so. This is the first one. Uh, I'm thinking I'm thinking switch. <laughs> Do we have anyone that can- no, not really. Oh boy. Uh, let's take an AA run, I guess. Let's see how we do. Let's go headbutt. Oh, good. That's what I was hoping for. <laughs> uh, yeah, there we go. Perfect. Headbutt. I forget Quick Claw. I keep forgetting about that. Like, I was wondering if it was like an episode two ago, I'm like, how did, uh... Magneton out- like, how did AA run outrun you? Uh, I forgot. I completely forgot. That Aaron has, you know, Quick Claw on him, so he attacks quicker. Uh, but perfect, take you down, level 13. It's actually, ooh, Metal Claw! Yay, first metal move. Steel move, sorry. <laughs> get rid of Mud Slap. Oh, yeah, well, I was thinking Mud Slap. Yeah, get rid of Mud Slap. Headbutt Keep. Headbutt can be awesome. Metal Claw is a fantastic move, especially when you're against Rock type Pokemon. Now I can take him out with uh, AA Aaron. So it's fantastic. It's perfect. Uh, let's go ahead. I'm going to go for the stab. Let's go with Metal Claw. I think it might do uh, might do the same amount. Not too sure. Let's see. So Metal Claw away. You missed. Of course you missed. I'm just going to switch. Actually, uh, I was thinking Rock Smash. Why not do that? But for the sake of time and for the sake of just beating the crap out of this guy right now, we're going to switch it up. So now it's Sunny D, and we're gonna take out this family here. So double kick. My like one of them actually, yeah. My like one of these should be more than enough. So down goes Zigzag Goon. Under two. It's not that bad. Under two experience. So that's the first one. I think it was the father. Hey all, I found a pretty strong trainer. Okay. Who's next? Oh the mother. Oh my goodness, aren't you young? You must be quite the trainer to beat my husband though. It's my turn to battle now. All right, round two. The mother. Went straight to Victoria. Sent out Rosilia. Gotta be careful here. All right, so definitely switching out this time around. She sent out just swell. As you can tell, you don't heal after these battles. You just go straight into the next one. Ah, oh, damn Sunspore. One of the worst case scenarios, but it's okay. We can actually just use, I guess, Paralyze Heal real quick. Or we can use a berry. It's not berries. Let me use Paralyze Heal. Done. That's one thing I keep forgetting to do. I can equip the berries to my Pokemon, and then if they get paralyzed, it just automatically uses the berry during the battle. Which is awesome. Uh, wing attack. Boom. Done. Down goes Resilia. Rosalia, 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 ah, who, however you pronounce it. I already pronounced some of them wrong, like, Minum, 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 who knows. Uh, really strong one. So who's next? Oh, the daughter. You're stronger than mommy? Wow. I'm strong too, really, honestly. Alright, let's see what you got. Dun, 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 dun. What's one street we got here? One street, Vivi. Send out Meryl. That we're definitely switching out for. <laughs> Meryl finishes off instantly. Uh, let's go with Lock. I think I start using Lock more often. 
I haven't used them as much since the first gym. Like, I feel like I've used them, but not enough to level them up and stuff. So we definitely need to do that. So let's go Bullet Seed. Should finish you off. As long as I get, like, four in. Come on. Four. Oh, of course, there's only two. It's always two. Bullet Seed. I never get lucky with Bullet Seed. It's always two. Alright, so come on. Bullet Seed. Yeah. Come on. One, two more. One more. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. That's what I was hoping for, Mike. I know it's not going to finish him off with two. Her off, I should say. Sorry. Uh, with two, so. Yeah, extra one was more than enough. Uh, new mole. Hmm. Let's go. I'm going to go slacking. This was an interesting one because it's the ground fire type. I don't have anyone that beats ground or fire at the moment. However, I can just be like cut. Or strength. Forgot about strength. We just learned strength. There we go with the damage. Yes. That's what I was hoping. Oh, ow. That hurts. Uh, oh, fire. Oh, no. Fire. Fire. Uh, cut. Loaf in the round. No worries. Just learn. Yeah, I'm like, just lift from this ember. Oh, boy. I'm not sure if I'm going to the exp. Uh, I think I will. Let's go for it. Finish up. I th I'm pretty sure I will. Yay! Oh, really? <laughs> Just about there. Uh, what's this? Shroomus, she said? So let's go. Just swell. What you got, Shroomus? Alright, let's go. Wing attack. Boom. Done. Easy victory. It's three down. I think one more to go. I think there's one more. Oh, uh, did I just lose? Yes, you did. This stinks. Snibble. Grandma! Yeah, Grandma's the last one. How dare you make my granddaughter cry. With that, I'm gonna smack you. Prepare to lose. So you make my granddaughter die. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna beat the living daylights out of you. Prepare to meet your maker. Hey, Aram. <laughs> uh, meditate. Uh, let's go just well. Like, I could have sent out Gumbuskin, Sunny D. Oh, we got. Ooh. I forgot about that move. That move. Wow. High jump kick is a risky, risky, but very beneficial move if you can land it. Alright, so you're just about done. Oh. Hang in there, Sunny D. Yeah, I'm like, high jump kick is a deadly move. Fortunately, we won. Alright, so, yep, level 14 with AA Aaron. Get that defense up. It's high enough as it is. Because our normal type moves are useless. And we're good. If you're not in a hurry, visit with us a while. Alright, let's visit. Hello, family. You're the first trainer I've seen who deploys Pokemon so masterfully. But I should tell you, my son is stronger than you. He even took the Pokemon League challenge, I'll have you know. Ooh. There's no question that you're strong. But if you were to battle my grandson, you'd end up crying in frustration. He's much stronger than any trainer in our family Our family knows. He must be challenging the Pokemon League champion by now. Knowing my grandson, he could be the champion already. Hmm. We use this Macho Breach to more effectively strengthen our Pokemon in training. Since you being our entire family, I don't know if I, you need it, but we would like you to have our Macho Brace. So cool. That's more for, like, Eve training, so that's nice to have. I believe it's Eve training, something like that. Uh, Mommy is stronger than Daddy, I'm stronger than Mommy, and Grandma's stronger than me. But my big brother's even stronger than Grandma. Who in the Lord is Big Brother? The world may never know. However, what I do know is that I wanted to do... There's one more battle I want to do really quick. I think I'm okay. Uh, I'm like, I think I'm okay. What does he have? Because he has. Yeah, it should be fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and rock smash here. I think a Pokemon actually might come out of this. Nope, not this time. All right. So there's one more battle I want. Yeah, right up here with the news reporters. Uh, well, I want to talk to you first, just in case. I've heard Pokemon League's Elite Four are far stronger than any gym leader. I heard that too. Uh, anyway, this is a nice little special kind of battle you can do. It changes every day, but we'll do this right now. Gabby, oh, we just bought a tough-looking trainer here on all passes, all places. Okay, roll camera. Let's get this interview. 
Dun -dun -dun, dun -dun -dun. Interview. Alright, so interviewer Gabby and T uh, and Ty would like to battle. And it's a double battle. And you battle these trainers. These interviewers, I should say, more often as you progress through the story. So we're gonna. Hmm. It's like decisions, decisions. We can finish. Yeah, I'm gonna finish off the Magnum Mike first, I suppose. So double kick. Kaboom. Should do it. I'm like, this should finish him off, no problem. There goes Magnemite. Now we can use Rock Smash and take out the Wismer there. Oh yeah. I guess I know it's not gonna be like super super effective, but it'll still hurt you. Uh, Astonish. I'm like, it's not gonna finish me, but it'll definitely hurt a little bit. Could also potentially flinch me, but you're too slow to flinch me. Not fast enough, pal. All right, so 138. For both, and that does it. My eyes didn't lie, I did discover an astonishing trainer. Sweet. Awesome, awesome. Who are you? I knew you were on I knew we were onto something wild when we spotted you. Oh please let me explain. We travel around everywhere interviewing all sorts of trainers. So would you give us a bit of your time for an interview? Ah yeah, sure or not. You will, thank you. Okay, I need to describe your feelings about our battle, but it has to be short and sweet. Go. All right, so we need one word that describes this battle. Uh, endings, I suppose, we could look at. Um, what would be a good one? Uh, let's see. I see if there's anything like interesting. Nothing really there. Good. Uh, let's see. Easy. <laughs> I just tried this battle easy. Mmm, yeah, that's a perfect clincher. I get the feeling that this will make a great TV show. There's a chance that they'll air this on TV, so make sure to look for us. Okay, we'll be seeing you. Alright, so that's it for that. What we're gonna do now is actually end the episode, so I just want to say thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all our fun stuff. Next time, we're gonna continue up the route here. We have a bunch of more trainers to fight. We're on our way to the next gym. We should be there probably within the next, uh, maybe episode or two. We'll see how it goes. But anyway, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all for the next Pokemon Ruby.